Good morning. Do you wake up looking this fabulous? Um, say hi when you're hopping on. I realized I started taking this down and it does a countdown before you go live. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to have my hair back up before the countdown's over. So here we are. And say hey when you're hopping on. It has been like a slow morning. Most of my mornings are start really early. I try and get a lot done before the kids get up and then um, I was just exhausted. <laughs> uh, I didn't sleep well last night. I actually went to bed early and then it was like a power nap. I woke up at 11 and could not go back to sleep. So um, anyways, I am just really, I'm still I'm wearing some cute jammies. I was gonna show them to you. Um, because I feel like with Amazon, it's hit or miss if the, if the quality is good and these are so cute and they were under $30. So they were $23 and then $7 shipping to Puerto Rico. So I don't know if it's $7 shipping everywhere, but I know here, but still it was a two piece set for under 30 bucks, but they have like velvet around the base. They have velvet like here, cute little pocket. They have nutcrackers. And then these little sleeves. Like, can you imagine cooking? And then my house shoes are just pink lily because, <laughs> because I love house shoes. Um, but I'm like, how cute are these? Um, Adam kind of feels like they give like nutcracker clown pajama vibes, but I think they're the cutest thing. I'm like, just call me the Nutcracker Clown. Um, okay, I'm gonna start my live with um, reading something out of the Bible this morning. We're gonna start a little different. Normally I do all my makeup and I do a devotion at the end, um, but I wanted us to be able to talk about it while we got ready. So, um, I, I'm not, I, there are deals going on, like it's the last day of the total hormone health deal, and there's the 40% off for makeup stuff. Um, but really, I was like, I really just want to come and hang out. And I heard this yesterday and last night when I couldn't sleep. And I was like praying for, here lately, if I can't sleep, I pray for my friend Jojo. And she um, had like a traumatic birth experience and had a heart attack and went without oxygen for a long time and her she has brain damage right now. And I completely am believing God to do a miracle in, in her life. And I, it is just, it's been like six months now and my heart breaks for their family. She has six kids. And I, if I can't sleep, I like pray for her. And so I, I'm gonna read this to you. Just, oh, this is like not necessarily um, like what we always do on stuff, but I don't know. I just, I was mind blown by this. Um, and sometimes I feel like the Lord will keep you up just because he, like maybe my day has been too busy. I haven't spent time with him. So now I literally cannot sleep. So I just pray. And so anyways, um, we are gonna read, you've probably heard this before, but Psalms 23, it's the good shepherd. Uh, but I had like, I don't know. I heard this revelation about this. I have heard the scripture. If I have heard it once, I've heard it a thousand times, literally in my life, like could quote it. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, right? Okay. The Lord is my shepherd. I have what I need. He lets me lie down in green pastures and he leads me beside quiet waters. He renews my life. He leads me along the right path for his name's sake. Even when I go through the darkest valley, I fear no danger. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Only goodness and faithful love will pursue me all of the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, so you've probably heard this before, but did you know that if you are researching about a shepherd or um, that a shepherd will anoint the sheep's head with oil because sheep will get their head stuck in briars and they can't get out and there will be tormenting flies that will come. This was just like, I will never look at the scripture the same way. And that's why I wanted to start my morning and share this with you because I just felt like, 
what a good God. Like, I never knew this. And I feel like there's so many things in the Bible that, like, we don't really know. And when we hear about it, we're like, what? And so, a shepherd will go out and anoint their sheep's head with oil because the sheep will get stuck in briars, they'll get stuck, flies will torment them, they will lay eggs in their nostrils, the eggs will turn into worms, and sometimes the sheep will be so tormented that they will bang their heads and kill themselves. They are so tormented. But when the shepherd pours oil over their head, it puts a, a layer of protection over them that the flies can't lay their eggs, and that they have peace. I just felt like, how have I never known this? Like, and that like, that's what the Lord does with us. Like when he says, I anoint your head with oil, my cup overflows. Like he has an endless supply of oil. He's not like, eh, maybe you just get a little drop, like an endless supply. And he coats your head with oil so that anything the enemy comes at you, you are protected. And I just felt like, I've always heard like, okay, I know that he like, he's with me in the darkest times, like that is comforting. And I guess like, just because we are really in a society of anointing people's heads with oil, I didn't understand that that's what that meant. And I felt like, how beautiful, how wonderful that that a piece that they can't get from anywhere else, a piece that we can't get from anywhere else and that your cup overflows, that you are not thirsty, you are not needing more, that it's, I don't know, maybe this is just mind blowing to only me. Um, but anyways, oh, oh, read it really quickly. Now that you know that, I'll read it again. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Even when like all your enemies are around you, God is like preparing good things for you. Like that even your enemies cannot deny the goodness of God on your life, right? You anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Only goodness and faithful love will pursue me all of the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Like, even when I go through the darkest valley, I fear no danger because you're with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. Like, I don't know. And that's a very popular verse. And it is something we've probably all heard like a million times. If you grew up in the church, like, gosh, we, like everyone repeats that, you know, over. But I just had never knew what it meant. And I love that you can still be learning things about the Bible and you can still be learning things about God that blow your mind that you're like oh that's beautiful like to protect me to get me out of snares to put protection around me to give me peace like oh, it's just so good anyways so that was my probably 3 30 revelation this morning I just could not sleep and um I I was tired, but I'm like, oh, I cannot wait to share this with my friends today because this is so good. We serve such a good God who wants good things for us and um, just so beautiful. Like, anyways, good morning. We're going to just get ready together. Um, I'm getting out my skincare. I I'd originally planned to do like a holiday makeup look this morning um with like really glam um holiday vibe. We'll see how this goes, what direction it goes. It might just be a skincare in Jesus live. Um so I don't know. We shall see. Okay. Um let's make our trim fit. Do you ever have things like that? Like um there was another it's about being a shepherd. I'll go, I did a Bible study for ch children's church one day about this. I was researching um, what being a good shepherd was like. And um, sheep have to be sheared. And the shepherd uses the wool for all kinds of things. But if a sheep gets away and it isn't sheared,
it can die from the sheer heaviness, like the pure heaviness of its coat over years will get too heavy. And without a shepherd taking care of it, it's all matted up and it gets too heavy that the sheep, like they'll knock themselves over and can't get back up. They will drown. They will, um, they're just heavy burdened. And there was a sheep that was found. Um, I don't remember where, I think Scotland, uh, but it had been lost for years, a lost sheep. And I also felt that that was just, this was not a biblical message. It's just when I read about the story about this lost sheep, I thought like, oh my gosh, like the Lord is so good. And the man, the shepherd found this lost sheep and he sheared it. It was, had like over, I don't know how many pounds. It was very, very heavy and the sheep was going to die without it. But the shepherd took all the weight off of the sheep and the sheep was able to be like healthy, live fully. I'm sure anointed his head with oil to keep him out of the briars and safe and got him with a flock because, you know, and, but this one sheep was so heavy that he was going to die without the shepherd. And I thought like, how often are we so heavy? Like our burdens are so heavy, but we don't want to go to God like with them. We are trying to carry it all on our own. We are like trying to carry all of these heavy things. And yet we have like a good shepherd who wants to shear us, who wants to protect us, who wants to pour oil over us and keep us safe. And who wants to like guide us to water and who wants to take all this weight off of us so that we can live this full life. But so often we are running from the shepherd, um, you know, and it's like, if we just run to him, he wants to like lift that off of us. I just feel like for any times where I just want to not read my Bible or not go to him, or I want to just like do my own thing. And I, sometimes there's things where I'm like, I don't want to pray about it first, this is going to sound really crazy. Um, but I don't want to pray about it. Cause like, what if God says no? And that's so dumb because it's like, okay. And then you really pray about it and you realize like, Oh God shut the door and he instantly closes it. And then later on you look back and you're like, Oh, it's because he wanted to protect me. And so anyways, for whoever else needs this this morning, that God is a good, good shepherd and he wants to take the burdens of our lives off of us so that they're not heavy. And he wants to like love us. I just feel like, I don't know, I just like woke, I was in bed just feeling this like overwhelming sense of like God's love is so good for us. And that sometimes we get it so twisted that he just wants us to like to punish us or like you do this or you're in trouble and really it's just so opposite and that was my feeling this morning it's like god like if you don't want it for me like i don't want it like i will wait for what you have for me because i believe your path is good you know anyways um you did a bible study on psalms 23 it was amazing Kim, I should look into that. Like, if you will get me info on that, I would love to do, we typically do a, um, I'm like snotty. I knew today, I was like, there's no way if I'm going to go into this. I just felt so emotional. I even prayed about it because sometimes I lose like a good amount of people sometimes, or I'll have people be like, I followed you for this, but not for like, obviously religion stuff. But I've always said from the beginning, like, Lord, if you will give me a platform, like help me like use it for you. And I was praying about it this morning and I was like, God, like help me to have the right words that I, I don't want to be like offensive. I just want to like help share your love. Like that's it. Like help someone who is hurting or feels sad or overwhelmed or lonely to just like know that if they want that they could turn to you, you know? Um, so anyways, let's get to it. Sorry, friends. I feel like I'm going to need to blow my nose. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome to, I can never be like a real life pastor. I'd be like, hey, God, I'm going to blow my nose. Oh. Oh. I actually would hate that. 
I hate public speaking, and I would, um, but it's been so good that the Lord has given me a platform to, um, <laughs> come on, dress as I am in my pajamas and, um, talk to you about Jesus. So, I, but I would love, so we've been doing a devotion, which I love doing with you, but I would love to do, I think there's so much power in the reading the Bible. And I would love to do like an actual Bible study and maybe, maybe on my page or I'll do like a, so if people want to just watch makeup, they can, or if they want to come on for the Bible study, they could, and we could do a Bible study together. Um, and maybe live or you going through it at, at your own pace. I haven't figured out how, how to do, um, how to do a Bible study other than the way I've just shared in my lives. And so, but I would love to do that um, together for whoever would want to. All right. So last night we went to the new house and um, we get over there. We were going to like look around to see what got done. We're just so like nosy and impatient and excited. We get there, no power, like none. They have taken every light fixture out of the house. And so, and they've turned the um, electrical off. So we get there, we're like looking around with our phone flashlights. And needless to say, last night's home visit um, was very, uh, last night's home visit was a very short visit. Oh, Faith, I hope it was for you today. And I hope that like, it is so hard. I felt that same feeling um, about my papa to just be like, you don't, grief is so hard. Like when you don't understand why things happen. And um, I think God understands like if we're angry or when we are sad or when we're in, um, I think he knows and you could do one of two things. You can either lean in close or run the other way. And I just want to encourage you, like, try try running to him and see how it changes your life. <laughs> Hide and seek with the kids. Exactly. Um, okay, a little bit of pump, Brighton. Um, I was going to tell you the, um, uh, ageless wands are out of stock. So if anybody had been wanting it, they're out, but they will restock on the 25th of this month. I cannot wait to see what everybody's Black Friday deals are. Um, some brands have already started like early Black Friday stuff. I know Ophir is doing that 40% all month long. Um, I just feel so much better when my I do my skincare. My skin looks better. I it evens out all the skin tones. Uh, it's just this has got pomifera oil in it, but it's called Revive, and it has lipids, and it just gives you the most beautiful glow. And if you ever, they also have this um, hops extract brightening cream. And it's like a hydrating version. And I will put that on if I'm doing no other skincare. And it looks so good. Like on for the day. Oh, you've been listening to Still Water Psalm 23 over and over lately. Um, you feel like you were led. I need to listen to that. I would love that. Still Water Psalm 123. And I think all of us, we all go through seasons, like every single person is going through something, right? And sometimes they're harder seasons than others. And I'm just grateful you choose to spend your days with me. Some of you are on here almost every day and we hang out so often together. And um, I just think that it's so nice to know that other people are going through things and that other people are here for each other. And I truly love the community that has been built over the last 10 years, like on this page of people loving each other. And um, 
I will look over, I'll see if, I don't know of any other influencers who've done. Ideally, I would love to see like, hey, somebody did a Bible study, it was really successful, this is how they did it. And this is, maybe we could do it to start the new year um, and figure out if, I don't know how, if I would do it as part of my regular lives or if it needs to be on its own, um, but we could do it together. And if that gave everybody enough time to get their Bible study in, if we like started it um, like six weeks from now or something. So, okay, here we go. I feel like anytime you get the prompting, have you ever um, like prayed for someone, a stranger in a grocery store? Or have you ever felt the prompting of like, I know the Lord like wants me to tell this person this, or I know, like, I really feel like I should talk about Psalms 23 today. Or, and I just feel like if you hear that, or you feel that, that urge, it's probably not an urge, you just woke up yourself feeling. And so, um, that you never know who needs it on the other side. So this is, this is the, the good stuff. The Hops Extract Brightening Cream. I brought this with me from Tennessee and I lost it for about four months. And I recently unpacked suitcase stuff and it was in there. And I was like, where have you been? So I'm gonna just do that. bright and shiny day. Um, has anyone gone to Home Goods and seen the gingerbread houses? So if you haven't, you guys, they are so cute. I found a gingerbread house I wanted to link and I just loved it. It had a nightlight inside. I wanted it for like above kitchen cabinets and or like on a shelf and it was so expensive. And so I was like, this is it was like a hundred bucks and I was like, I'm not paying a hundred dollars for a gingerbread house. I'm determined I'm going to find cuter gingerbread houses. I haven't found any ones online, um, but I found them at Home Goods, So I know I can't link them, but they are amazing. They're cute. They're the cutest gingerbread houses. Okay. I'm going to go over here to get my stuff. changed my mind about not getting ready because I think <laughs> I haven't gotten ready in days and so I since I got ready with you last and I think I would like to get ready today um so I'm going to do it and this is like my husband's got the kids and this is like my time that if I want to get ready it's right now because as soon as this live ends I am back to mom life so your grandmother loved nutcrackers I love nutcrackers I love uh, gingerbread men, gingerbread houses, a gingerbread cookie. Like I saw somebody, they found it at Home Goods, and I haven't found it yet, but it's a mug with a gingerbread cookie. And I'm like, can you imagine? And then you like whipped cream. Yes, I can. Okay, let's do this. So, um, we we're going to go to Costco today because we really need, this is, I have one water bottle left and um I was like we have to go we've eaten through most of our hurricane supplies we've just been eating on them and then restocking you know but um we've luckily got really blessed here this season and so but we're moving and so I was like I don't know do we want to do a big Costco run today that we're just going to have to like move it to another house in two weeks and so we decided we're not we're just gonna do small grocery runs Adam has been on a chicken salad kick I made the best chicken salad the other night I did ground ginger and um I did like celery onions grapes candied pecans chicken mayonnaise it was just such a good grapes apples um it was so good and um i don't know i don't 
I sometimes, like I would love to go on live like when I'm making that, but I don't necessarily have a recipe written out and stuff. So I've got to figure out what my balance is for, I just love like, I don't have to pre-record stuff. Then you have to edit it and what if you don't get around to it? And anyways, um, so the brightening cream was from uh, Palmafera and um, it is the Luminate. You don't drink the water from your faucet. So you can't really drink the water from, oh, you could, I guess, here. Um, but we have an osmosis filtration system. So I drink water from that all the time. But like on the go, we have like, bottle, uh, normally we have like a little mini fridge that we keep full of bottled water, just so that it's like, grab that, head out the door. Um, and so uh, that's what we do. And then back where we live, you can technically drink out of the tap in Tennessee, um, as long as you get your water tested, um, that there's like nothing wrong with it. Uh, but here the water tastes kind of salty. Um, it comes out of a cistern and it's just better. You want to use your like osmosis with filter and then you're totally safe. You can, but if we're cooking or like, um, drinking, we use the osmosis filter. The new house doesn't have an osmosis filter. It only has a cistern water. And so we have to get that installed before we move in or you just buy gallons of water. Just tell people eyeball this, eyeball that, exactly. But I'm like, well, that would probably be better than not doing anything. Um, I'm pretty sure I had bronzer on this brush because this is not, let's go in with a little quinoa. This is just a tinted moisturizer and it's too dark and I'm pretty sure this is now the lighter color. Maybe it was a darker shade plus bronzer on the brush. I have to clean my brushes one day. So what is everybody doing today? How do I like living in Puerto Rico? I feel like I could be a spokesperson like for um, Puerto Rico. I'm not kidding. I have never lived somewhere like tropical and the people here are so, oh, perfect example. I have had a nail in my tire the last couple weeks. I've just been filling it up with air. And I'm like, I know I need to get this done. I pull up, the guy speaks a little English. I speak a little Spanish, you know, like, and so I Google translate, like, I think I have a nail in my tire. He goes, he like has me roll my tire back. He like puts it up, he gets the nail out. He's like, you be safe today. And I was like, how, how, like, how much do I owe you? And he was like, bless you, you be safe today. And like, didn't charge me. And like the people are just, like people who don't work at the grocery store, but you're looking around, they're like, do you need help finding something? And then I'm like, I'm looking for basil. And they walk clear across the store to show you where it is. Like, I don't know how to describe like the level of cultural, like hospitality and eye opening like, of I think I'm a nice person, but they are just so forwardly nice. Um, like everyone is already dressed up full Christmas right now. Like if you go through a drive through they have elf ears on, they have bells, they're telling you Felice Navidad. Like I, um, there's so many things. I love the ocean. I love, um, I miss a few things from back home. I definitely miss like my actual physical home. Um, just because I thought we were going to live there forever and I miss seeing my sister. I miss our cats. Like I miss, I miss a few things. I miss Adam's mom. I miss like the convenience of hanging out, but like I FaceTimed with her last night and I talked to my sister this morning and truly I worked from home and I stayed home a lot. I miss Natalie, like seeing her face to face. But again, I talked to her this morning and I FaceTime her when I'm at the beach. Like, so it's, but I just. I think every now and then you get an opportunity to do something like we came down for a business opportunity, but, um, where you pray about it and you feel like, God, if this is supposed to be open, every door wide open, if it's not supposed to be close it and like every door wide open with blessing, you know, and, um, I love it. Anyways, that was my, that was my, that's my spiel. Uh, I don't, I don't heard a ton of people talk about Puerto Rico. 
And um, seriously, I will be one of those annoying people the rest of my life that'll be like, well, in Puerto Rico, it's so amazing, this, this, and this. Like, my dad talks that way about Hawaii. He's like, well, in Hawaii. And I'm like, I'm going to be that because um, you're facing a move that is unplanned and you needed to hear this. Girl, we did not have this planned, and it came out really quickly and very fast. We... We're, we knew we would be here at least for the summer, but we didn't know if we would move here like permanently. And I just had to trust like God. And it has ended up being my expectation of what this experience would be like in every way this has exceeded it. Even my children, like the other night, Lexi was like, if I had to pick between here or Tennessee, like I was so scared to leave like my, my friends or if I'd make new friends. And she's like, I have more friends here. We have more tight knit. Like I've been praying community for years. Like God, please send me a community of people. Send my kids like good friends that will build them up and not tear them down and like give us kingdom connections. And literally daily here, we are meeting people and doing things with people. And I'm like, huh, you would have never known we were the same people that like never, ever, ever left our house. So anyways, I'm looking for bronzer. If you're wondering like, why is she taking forever? It's because it's not in here. Um, all I used was that sheer tint and I used the wrong shade and probably a dirty um, brush. So King Wall was the lighter color and Papyrus is my spray tan color. So. So one of the companies I work for, they moved their headquarters here. And then um, there was some like real estate and investment type opportunities there. There were like a lot of different reasons that this made a lot of sense for us. And so um, we knew we would be here at least for the summer. And um, just see if it worked out that, you know, we had never been here, so to say moving permanently, you know, so we were here to see, like, does this work? And it's just better than we could have imagined. This dibs brush is so good for bronzer. You just finished putting up Christmas decorations outside yesterday. Oh, I'm so, that I miss, like, we always did the last couple of years big lights on our house and I really miss that. Um, but I could do lights on the new house. I'm really grateful. Like I haven't shown the outside of our house yet on videos. I don't think I haven't even done a post saying we bought a house. So the only people who know, or if you watch my lives, I haven't even done a post about it. At some point I will, I need to go over with all of the kids where we don't look like crazy people and sweaty worker people who've been moving boxes and take a picture and say we bought a house but at some point i will can i link the brush yes i will link it in the description after i am um off this video i just like it because you can kind of use the edges it's not meant to be i think a full contouring brush but it's so good the inside has decor everywhere the outside is blank you need to i just that's the other thing. It costs too much to ship things here. It's just not practical. Like we shipped family heirloom type stuff or art that was like his grandmother painted or um, I shipped a few, like a suitcase of shoes, um, like that kind of thing. But it isn't practical to ship like ornaments from Target, for example because the shipping on it would be $200 for a big box, you know? And it's like, well, it's probably not even $200 worth of stuff. And so we will have to get um, some things, but right now we're just like trying to, I probably will have just some TJ Maxx home goods type stuff. And like, oh, since we're moving in a little later in the holiday season, um, it won't be like as Christmas as I would love it to be, but that's okay. We are, I, my focus is more on our, we need like daily things. Like I don't have a blender. I don't have, or I have a blender. I don't have a, a mixer. Uh, you know, so we're just like trying to get that kind of stuff. I 
don't have like porch furniture. I don't have, so before I can go buy, I did buy a Christmas tree and a couple little ones that would ship from Amazon. Um, so I, it will end up being, you know, it will be home, but probably I'm not your girl for all out Christmas this year for content. But I can be, I can be your person for something else. I feel a lot of pressure from the internet to be like, I want to be sharing these things or like the financial, like if you share velvet ribbon, for example, and someone buys it, you know, like that's how I support my family <laughs> kind of thing. And so I feel like, oh, it's just so chaotic. I don't have, I don't have linkable things ish, but I'm like, we'll grow into that and it'll be fine. And it'll be fun because it is kind of like a new little fresh start. Okay. If you don't have a good base of makeup, I highly recommend Ophir. You can use the code GIFT. You'll save 40%. Um, but their makeup is such a good base, meaning um, anything you put in addition to your main foundation, your primer, your setting powder, your bronzer, like anything else I think is extra. But if you have a good base, it's so great. Okay, so are we keeping our home in Tennessee? So originally we'd planned, we would like to have it still if we go back for, you know, a month or two or if we go, um, but the more we've gotten involved here, the less we're realizing and it's just expensive to go back and forth with kids. Um, it all happened so fast. I wasn't like, I don't know. I, um, I was like, well, I can't, we can't sell this. And we didn't know if we'd be needing to come back. Like if this didn't work out, we'd go back or whatever. And so, um, we now have put it up on Airbnb. We've had some people Airbnb it. And then also we had somebody look at it this week for long-term renting it like for the next year or two. And, um, so then we would still technically have the house, but they would pay for like the mortgage and that kind of stuff. Um, and so, Hey Christian, I'm live. It's really loud right now. Sorry. Um, so that's our, what we are planning. Um, is if we can keep it then that's our goal and use it as like, um, that we can rent it out. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. I forgot to ask for shares, but if anyone likes my videos or likes videos like this, share this video. Um, I'm gonna do better at asking for shares. If we rent the house long-term, will I take my stuff out of the house? Yes. Again, it doesn't make sense to ship it because my couch is like from Walmart. So to ship it here, it would cost more than what a couch would cost. And so if that happens, we'll probably do some sort of estate sale ish. And, um, but the people who are renting it and wanting to rent it long term um, actually want some of the furniture. And so, um, but they don't need like Veda's crib or things like that. So we'll just see what works. Um, we can give some to family or like, um, we gave a lot to like, uh, the women's shelter when we moved I gave a lot of clothes and a lot of different things and so um, we'll sell some stuff we'll keep some you know we're just we're just making it work thank you for my bless you for my sneeze sometimes I end up on like sneezy spells and um, I'll get really sneezy for a little while but thankfully that seemed to be a one-and-done sneeze anybody sneeze like multiple times in a row I also get like random hiccups um, where it'll be like hiccup like a couple times and then that's it. And you're like, oh, that was weird. Okay. Going in with just the tiniest bit of current blush. 
that's the shade is current. The brow pencil I used today was the Benefit Brow Precisely My Brow, and I used the shade 4.5. I'm out of, I have Ophirs as well. I'm just out. I use it probably, I guess I use it more than the other one, but I'm just out. I'm the worst reorderer. Um, that's why I love things on subscription, like supplements. I love it. toilet paper, paper towels. I do all of that on my Amazon. I even have a category of things that are on subscription that I use. If you ever go to my Amazon storefront, they're like, this is what helps. Anything that takes up a lot of space in my buggy, um, I will do subscription because I don't want to have to go for like laundry, detergent, paper towels, and you actually save if you get it subscribed to you. Um, my pajamas are from... Um, they are from Amazon. They were $23 and they are so cute. Last year I did a whole series on Christmas pajamas and, um, I would share them with you. Like if they were good, if they were bad and these are really good. They have like velvet, like the quality of them. You would not know that they were a $23 jammy. Okay, let's do. So today I'm going to go to the grocery store um, and I actually have to film. There is a deal. I'm not going to do my mascara because there's a deal going on for QVC and um, I have to film putting on this mascara and um, film about it. So I am not going to do my mascara on here. Um, same thing with like a little eyeshadow because I have to, I don't want to have to like take all my makeup off and do it a second time. Um, I hope that makes sense. So imagine me just beautiful long lashes and a really glam eyeshadow look. And I think this is where we are for today. Like, uh, the only thing I forgot to mention that, um, it ends tonight is that total hormone health. And, um, if you struggle with like hot flashes or night sweats or anything like that, um, this is just, it's got aronia berry in it. It's really good for you. Um, my daughter takes this, like she's in that pubescent stage of life and um it just helps with like balancing hormones naturally and right now until tonight at midnight um if you buy any beautiful you product you get this for $15 so it's a good deal you have one of your long-term rentals uh posted on furnished finders that's is that where nurses and doctors will typically come in I need to look at that furnished finders um and like on qvc are you doing a show i wish my grandmother used to watch qvc all the time if i ever do a show on there it will be like you have arrived um but uh the qvc thing it's just like a deal and i just have to film it and then that way i can post about it and share that this is what the sale is that's it so. Okay, so everything we use from Ophir today and all of their products are all 40% off. You can use my code Courtney Swan. If you need links, um, you can drop the word me below and I can send you links for everything we use today. Um, you can order total on its own. I don't know if it's on sale. If you order it alone is the only thing. Uh, There we go. Done and done. I hope you guys have the best day. Um, I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I'm gonna attempt to make Adam like a spicy blue cheese chicken salad. He was like telling me all the different types of chicken salads that he would love. And he was like, I would like a, I love, he just, he eats so much chicken salad and so much turkey, pounds and pounds of protein every week. And, um, so he mentioned a blue cheese chicken salad. So I was like, I bet I could come up with something for that. So I might hop on later and, um, we can attempt it and you can give me, probably you guys are better cooks than I am anyways. And you can give me advice on it, but you switched to Ophir over a year ago. Best decision. Yay. I'm so glad you like it. It really is beautiful on, and it has skincare in it as well. And so if you are needing something that's like really good for your skin. Um, I feel like 
man, between Palmafir and Ophir, it's like, it's good stuff. When do we move into our new home? We're trying to move in to be completely out of this house by December 1st. So a lot of the things like the lamps, the side tables, the, just a lot of the pictures, the pictures on the walls are not coming. Um, their pictures are so crazy. Uh, the curtains, the curtain, all of that stays. The media centers, the TVs, the, um, all that, the couch, all that stuff stays. So really we just have like our clothes, our shoes, pots and pans, kitchen stuff, um, like toys. I'm hoping it will be easier. And then furniture is supposed to be delivered on the 27th, which is not far from now. So that is, um, that's our goal. But when we get to the new house, like my office, for example, I realized yesterday, I was like, I have not one thing for my office other than I have like makeup. Yeah. I might do like a sitting on the floor and we'll build it over time. Um, or get ready like in my bathroom at a vanity and eventually I will make an office. I just don't have anything for it. And so that's kind of what I'm trying to do currently is like trying to find things that are, that I can use. I found a couple things this week. I'm just trying to do home goods and TJ Maxx because, um, and Walmart. So we don't have a target here or I would totally do target too, but I'm just trying to shop there. The furniture stores are really expensive here. And so, um, we went to discount outlets for our home furniture and like some of them, it was like, Oh, if it had like a scratched corner or something. And I'm like, I do not care. I will take $1,500 less for a scratched corner at this point at where we are. And so, um, that gave us like a lot of quantity of things or like last season, like kind of stuff. And so we're just trying to, it's just, it's a lot to have to buy a lot of things to, for a whole house. And so, um, I, I'll be sharing more deals of, like cute things I found on Amazon. Um, but again, not everything on Amazon ships here. So, um, I just am trying to find what, what I can get that does ship here. So, um, we're figuring it out. And then over time, I, the, I have lived in rentals. Honestly, I've lived in rentals more than homes that I've owned. And I have moved a lot in my adult life. I've moved from rental to rental to rental. And I, love I have always loved living in them um especially if it's like hey this is like a night a really nice house but on this one because we didn't furnish anything and because we were using kind of what they had and we knew we wouldn't be here long all my other rentals I have like even nasty rentals where they're like gross like actually gross um I have like gone in there and I'm like I'm gonna make this beautiful right and you start like doing little things and hanging little things and making little banners and hanging up Kurt. Like I felt like I always tried making a house a home. And in this house, it's been so weird cause I knew it was going to be so temporary and I am on like, I don't want to buy it for here, but what if it doesn't fit at the other one? So we really have just been making this house work. And then a few, like, I don't know, like a few things, uh, like obviously we had to get bedding and stuff. And so I'm so excited. I am such a creature of like home. Like I love baking cinnamon rolls. I love like putting on a good candle and I, it, I have bought candles. Um, but I'm really pumped to have like my own space where I guess it can feel like our home again. So, um, anyways, ah, I said I had to do an eyelet for something else. I do. I just was getting bored. I was just sitting here. Rub it off. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? It's okay. It didn't really do a big difference. There we go. I was just trying to make them glowy. Just trying. Check out the Martha Stewart documentary. Girl, I binge watched that. Watched the whole thing super late one night. 
Martha Stewart, what a legend, how much she accomplished and how talented she is. Um, but there was like a little bit of me that was, did anybody watch the Martha Stewart? There was a little bit of me that was so sad for her. Not even a little, it was a lot of that. She had all these things and she was saying probably one of the most talented people on the earth, right? Martha. But yet the way she left people and the way she made them feel changed their perspective on like, it was like, I felt like Martha had all of these things, but she missed like the loving people part. I don't know. And I, Adam and I had a big conversation about it because I tend to be like, a, I love Joanna Gaines. I love, and you think in your mind, like, oh, I just would, well, this would be so fun if you did this and this and this and write a book and do this. And oh, it'd be like so aspiring, right? But then you like really listen to a lot of her documentary and there was so much like that I was so sad for her that I felt like, she does have all of this, but she is like internally has sadness or like, you know, I don't know. So I felt like so um, proud of her on so many levels. And then also a little sad that I felt like she missed out on that part. Did anybody, did anyone else feel that way when you watched it, that your heart was like a little broken for her? But I feel like the older she has gotten, that she's like loosened up a little and that maybe going through the things she went through ended up being things that helped shape her. Um, I don't know. I just, I was like, oh, I would like, it really makes you evaluate like what's, what's really, really important because Martha has everything, you know? And you're like, oh, but does she have everything? And I hope for her, like I prayed for her actually. <laughs> um, I was like, God, like help give her like love and peace and joy because I just like feel like she was missing something a little bit and I want I don't know Martha Stewart but I will just don't want her to strive for perfection for the rest of her life when it's like you are just so good just as who you are and often I feel like God probably wants us to see ourselves that way where it's like I just want you to see me through the eyes I because I look at Martha and I'm like you are an icon you are a legend you are beautiful, stunning, you're talented, you can do anything. And I just want you to see yourself the way I see Martha. It's just, it's just amazing, you know, and I feel like Martha's hard on herself. And so anyways, I love Martha Stewart. Um, I want to buy some of, that's what we should do a series on. Buy some of her cookbooks and try like old school and try recreating some of them. I just, um, I don't know. I just felt like she was sad. And that just, I am such an empathetic person. I like cried watching. I felt like I could cry right now. Like I felt like she was sad. And it was like so sad to me that somebody who has everything would feel, would feel sad or hard on herself. Like you could tell some of the things she said were really like negative to herself. And you're like, for goodness sakes, you're Martha Stewart. Like, gosh, you've done everything. And it's so, it, things that more than anybody could ever do. And, um, but this was hard on herself and sad. Um, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I just hate it. Um, anyways. All right, you guys, I love you. I hope you have the best day. If you haven't seen the Martha Stewart documentary, I highly recommend it. Um, watch it. If there's any other documentaries that you think we should watch. Uh, also... The Golden Bachelorette, um, I'm going to be watching that tonight. So if you know who wins, don't tell me. Um, so don't tell me. I don't want to know. I'm going to watch it with my kids. The girls have loved watching The Golden Bachelorette. And um, anywho, I love you. Hope you have the best day. Thanks for hanging out with me.